Hey guys, man, it's been a year. Anyways, I got a lot to update on you guys. It's been a shit ton of work that I've done to it. Long story short, I have a shop now. So, well, me and my cousin, we share it and we're flourishing our work. And uh, a lot of the stuff I dedicated on the car now and especially the paint job. Anyways, that's not part of the video. Uh, I'm making this video to show you guys how to replace all the belts. So, I'm gonna show you how damn easy it is to do it. First, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you what tools you need. Uh, these are a lot of the ones that are helpful, besides, you know, having an impact gun. If you don't have that, especially, or, no, at least even a Harbor Freight piece of crap, that, that's totally fine. You can always do it with the ratchet. Doesn't make you less of a man. Fucking with you. Uh, you might wanna have one of these two as well for the smaller pieces. Have a variety of 10, uh, 12s, 13s, and also your wrenches for harder reach places. Your extensions, you have a swivel grate. If you have this, I don't know what the fuck it's called, but it's like a super kind of swivel. You can't torque with it, torque with it, torque with it but uh, it does help in loosening bolts and tightening them as well. Not too much. But this thing is a miracle worker when it comes to adjusting the, 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 the belts. Anyways, so this is what you need. And I'm going to show you what you need to take off to get to the ones. Right here. I'm going to show you how to take all of them out. So if you only need to one certain belt you're going to change, and then I suggest you skip to that part of the video where you're changing only that part of the belt. But I'm going to change all three of them so I can show you how to get to all of them. First off, uh, you have to remove these, which is the mounts for the radiator. I already took them off, but you know I'm just showing you where they are. They hold 10 millimeter screws. You take those off with, obviously, a 10 millimeter socket. And voila, that's already off. I got air guides, so it's a little harder. And if you want, you don't have to, but it does make it much more easier. You take off your intake pipes, hard pipes, wherever they are. You know, they'll have eight millimeters that go right here with the clamps. Take those off. They're already off, but you know, this is an example of what I mean. Eight millimeters. So, or your flathead. I don't know who the hell uses a flathead, that's weird. <clears throat> your hoses same crap uh you can take them off if you want you don't have to this one's stuck so i got lazy uh take off the fan shroud uh some of you guys still have the original clip which is this thing on the bottom so may i suggest you lift your car up put it on towers so you can have a lot of play a lot of play to go around everywhere it makes it so much easier don't use a fucking jack, what's wrong with you? Um, let me put this guy away. Take this guy out. Oh yeah, you always take the little hose that's here too. You don't have to rip it off, but you know, just get it out of the way. Take this off. Uh, don't break it either, just little by little. Yeah. And Fan shroud is usually mounted with this little type, tiny uh, clip that goes between that and uh, your uh, radiator. So, as soon as that's off, got that. And voila. It's a little tight, but it works. And before you pull up the radiator, you do have to also remove the hose that's in the bottom. I already removed it, but, you know, just to show you, that right there carries a hose. Same thing, 8mm clamp, if that's what it has, or just your damn OEM clamps that I hate so much. Fuck those things. You can say whatever you want, that like, oh, OEM clamps are so much fucking better. Uh, you know, these are just as, just as good. They don't do shit to the hoses. I've been having these clamps for how many years? I'm fine, so get mad all you want. Now, lift the damn radiator. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that over there. Hopefully that gets away. Yeah. Yay. I'm actually gonna do something cool with this thing. Uh, I'm gonna paint this whole inner part rugged black. See what that does. I heard that a uh, black color on our radiator actually uh, helps uh, keep the uh, engine cool. Uh, I'm just gonna say one thing. Uh, Thermodynamics, whatever. I'll just 
obviously you want to disconnect your plugs that go there. My PTU is already uh, re uh, relocated, so I don't have to worry about that. You got your fan clutch. That's another 10 millimeter screw. Uh, has four of them. I took that one off, took that one off, that one off. It's only being held by one. You usually best works if you use your extension, this guy. And if you notice right here, you have some sort of gap. Believe it or not, this makes it so much easier. Look. Instead of having to go there with the ratchet and be like, uh, uncomfortable. If you have a power tool, that's it. Like my sound effects? Oh yeah. So let me unscrew this piece. Took it off. Took off the fan. Boom. Right. And then you got your, uh, what do they call this thing? The clutch? Ever fan clutch? Same thing. This one is an eight millimeter. Or never mind. Fuck. Is it a ten? Yeah, it's a ten. May I suggest uh, a ten millimeter wrench? But be sure it is the kind that allows you to rotate. Because uh, taking it off like this. Putting it back on and taking it off, turboting is a pain in the ass. I like the one where you're just like, just wrenching, having to remove it. Anyways, uh, is that thing almost off? Almost, yeah, yeah. Woo! Oh, no! It fell! And I'm dropping coolant. Oh, yeah, remember this. You're gonna have coolant leaking, so. If you want to save your coolant, get a damn plate or some shit to reuse it. If you don't care, yeah, you could spill it. I don't, I don't care what the fuck you do with it. Oh, yeah, look. There's the reservoir shit. Oh, well. I have to flush that cooling system anyways. Uh, so, there's all your pulleys now. You can freely mess with them all you like. But uh, to get to each one is a certain order. You obviously... Go through this. Uh, there's this one going to the power steering. Uh, then you got your next one. This one's going to your AC. And then you got your last one that's in the back. That's uh, rounded with this one, which is your alternator over there. Yeah. Okay. Let's start off with power steering. You need a 12 millimeter socket and uh, your ratchet or your swivel and your power tool. I'm just gonna do this, so check it out. There's the funny thing about this now, since your car could be now on towers, you could do this on the bottom or on the top, right? You loosen the bracket first that holds the adjuster, one millimeter, uh, you don't want to loosen it too much, just enough to the point where it has play. Screw it back in slowly, just snug, not tight. You don't want to take off the bracket off, you just want it to, you know, be a little bit flexible. To help loosen, loosen the adjuster. And then the adjuster, same thing, loosen it just a little bit. To the point where you start to see the bracket alone, like move a little that's really good because that means when you finally go to the screw right here it's a long ass bolt that goes to the adjusting screw uh, it can freely move forward or back that's what the purpose of this thing is is to go f this way so it can allow you to remove the belt loosen it and then when you want to put it another one you take it off and retighten so, now that I've uh, loosened all the three right here you go to the bottom one is uh, down there. Haha! -ha. And you thought I had you left out like that. I know you guys have questions too of how to tighten it. Alright, well, I know some of you people are like, but Chris, wait, there's tension. What if I tighten it too much or too loose? What if it rips? Right, well, <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I'm just being a dick. Uh, you just do this. Uh, 
I put all the belts all back together at the same time because it's convenient. Why not? Just uh, every time you tighten your uh, your belts, you make sure that when you're tightening them, the tension is you know when you when you uh, when you when you when you uh, when you push down your finger on the belt, you make sure that there's some uh, some flexibility. You know, like. Uh, this if it moves like at least like a quarter of an inch from where it is then that's totally fine that applies to any of these you don't want to put it too much to the point where it feels like you know like a tight rope because that also adds stress to this piece right here as well as all the other pulleys it can cause anything to snap or rip or worst case scenario you know some major damage but like I said Make sure that your all belts, all of your belts, have some plug. Not too tight, not too loose, just right. All right? Peace out, guys. Just wanted to cover that up. All right. Now that uh, got that stuff sorted out. So, grab your 10 millimeter. I mean 10 millimeter shit. 12 millimeter, short socket, long socket, whatever the hell works. Grab your swivel or flexible uh, swivel, whatever you want to get, ratchet or power tool, impact driver, and check how easy it is. Get it in there, and boom, just like that. All that is to do because I loosened the brackets and I loosened the adjuster. That being said and done, now watch. Uh, well, uh, first you want to probably like grab it right here, just get loose a little, and boom, just like that. Take it off. Uh, put it back on. Same, pretty much, pretty much the same crap. Put, slap it on like that. Uh, you know, there's no, uh, there's no uh, different order, whatnot. If that's all you're changing, this is all you gotta do. And same thing. Move the pulley a little to just uh, get it back on like that. And there you go. Tighten here, tighten there, tighten the brackets, and problem solved. But uh, anyway, since that's not the whole video, I still got a lot to show you guys. So now the next step is pretty much to get rid of the other ones. Oh shit, this one's a little bit more tight. Let me loosen a little more. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm. There we go. Alrighty. Next target is going to be the AC. Uh, so, AC belt. This one right here. Now that the Power steam belt's out of the way. You want to get the AC belt off right here with this pulley. The pulley has an adjuster right here. Uh, this guy. I don't know if this is a, a stock uh, setup or not, but uh, this one right here is a 13, uh, 13 millimeter socket uh, that I'm going to use. So I think the original ones have 12s, but since this one was, uh, I had to improvise, so this is the best thing I got. You know, it's the same setup, you know, just a different size, so you'll see that uh, it loosens up. I'm going to take that one off. And the same thing pretty much applies. Uh, you grab your uh, socket, your 12 or your 13, whichever one it may be. Uh, you don't have to loosen or tighten anything besides maybe this or not. I don't know. If it's too tight. Uh, same thing if it's also way too tight nothing moving i'd also suggest coating with wd-40 but uh just so you can see see it loosens like nothing don't screw it off completely because you don't want to it's a pain in the ass to get everything put back together and then uh just like that same thing your ac belt is off boom same thing applies put it on right here put it on right there uh, this one's a little bit more tighter than the power steering. Uh, less play. Woo, my bad. Less play, so you're gonna have to, uh, 
work uh, and have some patience with that belt in particular. So, <clears throat> we'll leave that at that. It'll be up to you if you want to even put up with that. Now that, the la now that that's been done, the final belt is your alternator belt. This is going to be your favorite because look where the adjuster is. It's pretty much sticking out right there. And to make it even better, um, sometimes this thing gets a little loose. You'll turn on the car. You'll hear some squeaking in the morning. And, and then for some reason it ends up going away. Usually it's because of this, uh, this belt right here. So the cool thing about this is uh, you don't have to like take all this crap out. You know, the belt, the fan, uh, all these belts, the fan, the radiator, and whatnot. You just pretty much go in this direction. You lift the car, turn the, lift the car up, and there it is. Whoop. The same one. Uh, you can usually reach it with just a, a simple socket and a ratchet, as always. Uh, since things already lifted, I'm going to do the, I'm just going to do it from here. Now, this adjuster, unlike this one, unlike this one for the AC, is different, is the same as the one up here. Uh, but what you're going to need to do first is grab a, a wrench. Make sure you have it a 12 millimeter one because there's a bolt here so you can loosen the adjuster loosen it just a little don't take it off just enough so that this thing can move you know back and forth and then when that's finally done as well uh, let me see you're going to uh... let me see pull it out or not pull it out but loosen it Whoa! Right, there we go. Just take it off my little stand so I can just have some more play. Alright. I'm gonna give me a 12 millimeter socket. And, uh, I think I could do just fine with the swivel, too. Let's see? Right here. Oh, shit, that's actually a 13 millimeter. Alright, that's fine, too. I'm going to, uh, loosen that. 10 millimeter and uh, mm. there you go. <clears throat> okay, pause this because I got I gotta set it up. All right, back in this shit. I was having a hard time right there. My bad. Right, same thing. Like I said. This time though it's a 13 millimeter. Same thing I think uh where I think the original one is a 12. Changed it again. Now all I do is just simply loosen. Oh you know what? This one's probably tighter. Uh, this one is tighter than normal. So I'm gonna have to give me an actual uh saw extension. Remember when I told you that thing can't torque at all? That's what I mean. It'll start like vibrating all weird and shit. Ugh. Ugh. This works just as fine. <sighs> Boom. Boom. A little play, and voila. Boom. Get your ass in there. See how uh, loose that belt gets? Not there's that much play. Look how the belt just smooth. I think I gotta loosen a little bit more. Just a little more. Just a little more. Mm. Alright. That's done. Push that little screw in. And little tight but that's okay you know what it's not okay. a little bit more like I said you want to make sure you don't take off that bolt 
There we go. About to come off. And that's it. Now that that's done, you get the other belt and do the same crap. You want to take this though and make sure you uh, align it properly with the with this pulley though. Because uh, if you notice, the only pulley out of all these is that is a little loose is this one. That's the one that connects with the, you know, that's part of the water pump, the fan clutch, and uh, the alternator at the same time. So you want to make sure that thing is uh, properly installed when you put this belt back together. So now that when everything is finally all said and done, if your job has to go all the way to having to change the alternator, you simply put the alternator belt back on, then you put the AC belt, then you put the power steering belt, all those steps that I showed you, do that all again in reverse, and then you know, you put your fan clutch, you put your fan, you put your radiator shroud, wait, radiator shroud? No, you put your, uh, your radiator, then your fan shroud, and yada yada. That's it. I'm not gonna go with that whole fucking phase again. The hell? It's really hard to do all this work while making a video. Anyways, I hope that really helps you guys. I gotta put all these back together now because that was a waste of time. I already fixed it. I just wanted to take the time to show you guys. Uh, I'm doing a shit ton of work. I um, took off the shaft, I took off the transmission, I took off the rack and pinion, I took off uh, the clutch. Uh, hold on, let me see. Yeah! Took off the clutch. Uh, you already saw me take all this crap off. I'm doing a bunch of stuff to this thing. So if I make another video, it's probably because I'm doing all this at once. Maybe a rack and pinion one. But, you know, like I said, if you guys like it, I hope it helps, uh, you know, let me know, like, comment, subscribe, whatever the fuck you want to do, uh, if you need me to make another video, let me know, I'm gonna see if I can try to make time for you, <sighs> yeah, cause time is, time is really easy to make, alright, peace out guys, hope you enjoyed it, alright, now that, uh, got that stuff sorted out, so, Grab your 10 millimeter, I mean 10 millimeter shit, 12 millimeter, short socket, long socket, whatever the hell works. Grab your swivel or flexible uh, swivel, whatever you want to get, ratchet or power tool, impact driver, and check how easy it is. Get it in there, and boom. Just like that. All that is due because I loosened the brackets and I loosened the adjuster. With that being said and done, now watch. Uh, well, uh, first you want to probably like grab it right here. Just loose a little and boom. Just like that. Take it off. Uh, put it back on. Same pretty much. Pretty much the same crap. Put, slap it on like that. Uh, you know, there's no, uh, there's no uh, different order, whatnot. If that's all you're changing, this is all you gotta do. And same thing. Move the pulley a little to just uh, get it back on like that. And there you go. Tighten here, tighten there, tighten the brackets, and problem solved. But uh, anyway, since that's not a whole video I still got a lot to show you guys so now the next step is pretty much to get rid of the other ones oh shit this one's a little bit more tight let me loosen a little more uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm. there we go alrighty next target is gonna be the AC so, AC belt, this one right here. Now that the power steam belt's out of the way, you wanna get the AC belt off right here with this pulley. The pulley has an adjuster right here. Uh, this guy. I don't know if this is a, a stock uh, setup or not, but uh, this one right here is a 13, uh, 13 millimeter socket uh, that I'm gonna use. 
So I think the original ones have 12s, but since this one was a, uh, I had to improvise. So this is the best thing I got. You know, it's, it's the same setup. You know, just a different size. So you'll see that uh, it loosens up. I'm gonna take that one off, and the same thing pretty much applies. Uh, you grab your uh, socket, your 12 or your 13, whichever one it may be. Uh, you don't have to loosen or tighten anything besides maybe this or not. I don't know. If it's too tight. Uh, same thing if it's also way too tight, nothing moving. I'd also suggest coating with WD-40. But uh, just so you can see. See, it loosens like nothing. Don't screw it off completely because you don't want to pain in the ass to get everything put back together and then uh just like that same thing your ac belt is off boom same thing applies put it on right here put it on right there uh this one's a little bit more tighter than the power steering uh let's play Woo, my bad let's play so you're gonna have to uh work uh and have some patience with that belt in particular so, <clears throat> we'll leave that at that. It'll be up to you if you want to even put up with that. Now that the la now that that's been done, the final belt is your alternator belt. This is going to be your favorite because look where the adjuster is. It's pretty much sticking out right there. And to make it even better, um, sometimes this thing gets a little loose. You'll turn on the car. You'll hear some squeaking in the morning. And, and then for some reason it ends up going away. Usually it's because of this, uh, this belt right here. So the cool thing about this is uh, you don't have to like take all this crap out. You know, the belt, the fan, uh, all these belts, the fan, the radiator and whatnot. You just pretty much go in this direction. You lift the car, turn the, lift the car up and there it is. Whoop. The same one. Uh, you can usually reach it with just a, a simple socket and a ratchet, as always. Uh, since this thing's already lifted, I'm gonna do the. I'm just gonna do it from here. Now, this adjuster, unlike this one, unlike this one for the AC, is different. Is the same as the one up here. Uh, but what you're gonna need to do first is grab a, a wrench. Make sure you have it a 12 millimeter one. Because there's a bolt here so you can loosen the adjuster loosen it just a little don't take it off just enough so that this thing can move you know back and forth and then when that's finally done as well uh, let me see you're going to uh, let me see pull it out well, not pull it out, but loosen it. Whoa! Right, there we go. Just took it off my little stand so I can just have some more play. Alright. I'm gonna give me a 12 millimeter socket. And, uh, I think I could do just fine with the swivel, too. Let's see? Right here. Oh, shit, that's actually a 13 millimeter. All right, that's fine too. Going to uh, loosen that. Thirteen millimeter, and uh... mm. There you go. <clears throat> okay, pause this because I got I gotta set it up. Alright, back in this shit. I was having a hard time right there, my bad. Right. Same thing like I said. This time though it's a 13 millimeter. Same thing I think uh where I think the original one is a 12. Changed it again. Now all I do is just simply loosen. Oh you know what? This one's probably tighter. Mm. This one is tighter than normal. So I'm gonna have to give me an actual uh, solid extension. Remember when I told you that thing can't torque at all? That's what I mean. It'll start like vibrating all weird and shit. Ugh. 
Yeah. This works just as fine. <sighs> Boom. Boom. A little play, and voila. Mm. Get your ass in there. See how uh, loose that belt gets? Not there's that much play. Look how the belt is smooth. I think I gotta loosen a little bit more. Just a little more, just a little more. Mm. done push that little screw in and it's a little tight but that's okay you know what it's not okay. a little bit more like I said you want to make sure you don't take off that bolt there we go about to come off and that's it. Now that that's done, you get the other belt and do the same crap. You want to take this though and make sure you uh, align it properly with the with this pulley though. Because uh, if you notice, the only pulley out of all these is that is a little loose is this one. That's the one that connects with the, you know, that's part of the water pump, the fan clutch, and uh, the alternator at the same time. So you want to make sure that thing is uh, properly installed when you put this belt back together. So now that when everything is finally all said and done, if your job has to go all the way to having to change the alternator, you simply put the alternator belt back on, then you put the AC belt, then you put the power steering belt, all those steps that I showed you, do that all again in reverse, and then, you know, you put your fan clutch you put your fan, you put your radiator shroud, wait, radiator shroud? No, you put your, uh, your radiator, then your fan shroud, and yada yada. That's it. I'm not going to go that whole fucking phase again, the hell? It's really hard to do all this work while making a video. Anyways, I hope that really helps you guys. I got to put all these back together now because that was a waste of time. I already fixed it. I just wanted to take the time to show you guys. Uh, I'm doing a shit ton of work. I um, took off the shaft, I took off the transmission, I took off the wreck and pinion, I took off uh, the clutch. Uh, hold on, let me see. Yeah! I took off the clutch. Uh, you already saw me take all this crap off. I'm doing a bunch of stuff to this thing. So if I make another video, it's probably because I'm doing all this at once. Maybe a rack and pinion one. But, you know, like I said, if you guys like it, I hope it helps, uh, you know, let me know, like, comment, subscribe, whatever the fuck you want to do, uh, if you need me to make another video, let me know, I'm gonna see if I can try to make time for you, <sighs> yeah, cause time is, time is really easy to make, alright, peace out guys, hope you enjoyed it, haha, and you thought I had you left out like that, I know you guys have questions too of how to tighten it, alright, well, I know some of you people are like, but Chris, wait, there's tension. What if I tighten it too much or too loose? What if it rips? Right, well, <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I'm just being a dick. Uh, you just do this. Uh, I put all the belts all back together at the same time because it's convenient. Why not? Just uh, every time you tighten your, uh, your belts, you make sure that when you're tightening them, the tension is you know when you when you uh when you when you when you uh when you push down your finger on the belt you make sure that there's some uh some flexibility you know like uh you can tell I'm doing this if it moves like at least like a quarter of an inch from where it is then that's totally fine that applies to any of these you don't want to put it too much to the point where it feels like you know like a tight rope because that also adds stress to this piece right here as well as all the other pulleys can cause anything to snap or rip or worst case scenario you know some major damage but like I said 
make sure that your all belts, all of your belts, have some plug. Not too tight, not too loose, just right. All right? Peace out, guys. Just wanted to cover that up.